What's going on guys, welcome to my Windows 7 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install custom Windows cursors. So the first thing you want to do is go down to the bottom bar and right below the link section is a link to customize.org slash cursor. Uh, customize.org is a awesome website if you want to download themes for your Windows computer or uh, like rain meter, rain dar, all that good stuff. But in this case we're just using it for cursors so when you visit this website you'll be introduced with three different categories that you can pick from browse cursors popular cursors or new cursors pretty much all are self-explanatory popular people what are what people are downloading more and more uh... browse cursors just a big selection of what uh... the site has available to you like every single cursor that they have on here um, new new cursors people uh cursors that people just added and so on. Uh you can also search things by tags. Uh so you see if you want like a blue cursor, a green cursor, a fire cursor, an animated cursor, so on, so on and so forth, blah blah blah. So <clears throat> what you want to do is just click one of those categories if you want. Um in this case uh you can just go to browse cursors if you want. Um I'm just going to click the first one I see because I already have two selected for two different uh, types of installations that uh, these packs may come, become available to you. Um, so for dimension cursors, let's pick, look through the cursors that you want. If you find one that you like, click the image. So it will bring you to a new page. Right below the image, it will show you the uh, what the cursor looks like. So right below it will be a download file button. Let's click that. It will bring you to a new page. Right below, right beside the uh, image will be a click here to download. Just click that, it'll start downloading. Now, depending on the file, uh, you will have two different types of installations. One that's very easy, one that's not very easy, but you kind of can't choose between the two. It just, uh, whatever's in the pack is what you have to do. So, once you have your pack all installed, just, uh, or download them, I'm sorry, right click the, uh, your zip file, click extract all. Um, Choose a location for the icons or the cursors to be extracted. In this case, I'm only going to use my desktop. And make sure you have show extracted files when complete and just click extract. Let us it do its thing. And for this first one is cursors that do not have the .inf file. For that do not have the .inf file. This is the not so easy installation. Um basically what you want to do if you do not have that .inf file is go to start control panel go to hardware and sound and above right here where it says devices and printers go to mouse go up here to pointers and go up here to none right below the scheme will be a drop down menu you just want to select none okay so now as you see here in this little uh... <coughs> in the folder that you have downloaded um, basically these names correspond with each other so normal select will be arrow or in some cases will be normal select or normal dot cur um, so in this case it will be just arrow dot cur or cur whatever you want to call it I don't care um, so basically what you want to do is just right here under mouse properties make sure you have normal select selected go to browse go to where you downloaded your cursor and then just start selecting each cursor that corresponds to the name here. So for normal select, I would select arrow, click open, it will change. Go to help select, go to browse, look for help. There it is. Click open. Go working in background. Look for, let's see here, let's see here. Okay, for the rest of this, I'm just going to speed it up. So I'm actually just going to cut it out. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so once you guys have um, all the cursors all ready to go, as you see, I actually did find a precision select, and there usually is no handwriting I, uh, cursor in these kind of packs. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, once you have this all good and everything's all dandy, uh, go up here to save as, and save the c cursor scheme as just use the uh, pack name. So, silver cursors. Baseball cursors rumble, whatever, three day. Click OK, it'll save it and just click apply. I see my cursor changed. So now this next part of the tutorial will be on people with the dot 
INF file in their pack. Oh. Okay, so uh, like I said, with this pack, you just want to right click, extract all, show extract the files, choose the location, extract. Let's do its thing. Okay, so now as you see out here, I have a .inf file. Basically, what you want to do is right click the .inf file and click install. Click yes or, or click open on the security warning. And a little window should pop up. Let it do its thing. And that's pretty much it. Uh, go to start computer. Oh, my bad. Start control panel. And go to hardware and sound. Under devices and printers, click mouse. And then click pointers. And that's all fine. I, I just uh, delete all the cursor packs from before. Okay, so. What you want to do after you install. Then what is this? I don't know. So on our scheme, once you install the .inf file, you want to look for the um, your cursor pack name. So my, in this case, mine will be Astra, and click apply, click yes, and there you go. So that's how you install cursors on your Windows computer. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll have a video out by the end of this week. Peace, guys.